Hello. It's always so hard to start these. <laughs> That's the worst part, just the intro. <laughs> then once I get going, I'm comfortable. But yeah, it's been a little while. Um, pretty much all I've done lately is just like working on my handmade jewelry which I just finally listed on Etsy and I haven't sold a single thing. <laughs> but honestly, it doesn't really bother me that much because um, I'm still, I'm still going to continue at it. Like I'm not going to give up yet. It's just the beginning. Um, and I'm also thinking of like doing, like going to, uh, what are they called? Uh... Um, the word is just escaping me, but you know what I mean? Like where they have a little thing, tent set up and stuff, uh, locally. So I'm going to try that at some point. That might be fun. Cause, um, you know, for one, like the pictures don't, don't really do it justice <laughs> with my iPhone. Like, you can't really see the sparkle. That's why one image is, like, clear. The next one is blurry. Because it's the only way for me to, like, really get... If I use the flash, it's just so bright with the sparkle that it's just lit up. <laughs> but, um, I was just going to say that it doesn't really bother me at all that I haven't made a sale yet. Because, um, I've just had, like... It's just been such a positive thing that I've got going that even if I were to never even sell a single piece, it still has served its purpose and like brought me a lot of happiness and joy because it just has allowed me to definitely, because I'm not back at work yet, like I have endless amounts of time just to think if I'm not like, if I'm not, um, keeping myself distracted. So it's really kept me, kept my mind off of some of these things that I've mentioned in my videos. And, um, and it, like, I think I said stimming and my stimming toys has helped me, like, stop skin picking and stuff. I used to be, like, really bad at that, like, finding any little flaw, which, like, you can feel it any point like your skin has texture it's not going to be like smooth like paper like I mean some people have really nice skin not me but um I think I said that my like stimming toys has helped me a lot not to do picking but um I think that also making jewelry has done that as well because it just keeps me busy and I get so into it that I could like literally sit there for hours doing it and so my hands are busy the whole time so it's just been like a really good outlet for me like for being autistic and tra having trauma and yeah I just um <laughs> I hope to sell some someday um like my friend's gonna buy some for me like in person I'm not gonna ship it like waste money on shipping fees or anything like that but um you know I would have preferred to make my own website altogether like where I could really get the oh we're shaking a little year <laughs> um I would have preferred to have my own website where I could re really customize it and um you know break everything down where it's like all the tiger's eye earrings are here and all the you know like rose quartz are there and all the different ones are more and then you know like micro like small ones large all the different sizes and um even singles like if people just want to wear one and or mix and match kind of thing <laughs> But I just don't know where to begin with that. Like, I kind of, I was checking out different things like GoDaddy and, um, Shopif Shopify. That doesn't seem right, but, <laughs> it, it, 
yeah, anyway, I am. Um, Neither of those were really working for me. I could not figure it out. So Etsy is pretty good. It's pretty straightforward and you just add the photos and add some of the details and then, yeah, but, um, so in this video today, I just wanted to kind of, um, get to like the very first time I started reaching out for support like at 28 years old like I somehow made it through life where like I obviously had a lot of highs and lows and I had really dark moments and you know maybe I vented to friends here and there but I never once actually went to like counseling or I didn't go seeking a diagnosis I didn't I wasn't open with doctors about any suicidal like ideations, if that's the right word or anything. Um, I just was like har harboring, like I was keeping everything so deep down inside. Cause a lot of my life I just had different friend groups and I had neurotypical friends and, and I just really just obviously I just wanted to be like them. I just wanted to be normal. I didn't want there I didn't want to admit anything was wrong to wrong with me. I thought that um I just thought that you know, I had gone through trauma, so that's really all it was. <laughs> Not all it was. Like that is a huge component of what I suffer with today because there are plenty of people who are autistic and they're able to, not that it's easy, but there's plenty of people who do do their nine to five for years and years and they don't struggle as much. But that's, you know, of course, that's why it's a spectrum and everything. But I just think, I just know that if that um, component wasn't there, like if, if, um, if I hadn't been abused starting at a young age and witnessed abuse and all the other things, I just know I'd be a completely different person. Um, like, yes, they say like things like that can make you a better person and maybe it made me a better person in some ways, but I, <laughs> I'd much rather just be a, I don't know, I hate when people, maybe, like, maybe we should just stop saying shit like that, like, it makes you a better person, like, <laughs> I guess that helps you cope, but <laughs> I'd much rather be a person without CPTSD, like, it's major, it's not. It, like I said before, like it literally affects everything. Relationships, jobs, education, how you feel about yourself, how you can... Anyway, I'm not going to cry or anything. I just, I wish I could like formulate better thoughts on it, but that's just where my head's at, just that. You know, kind of just like with the stuff from before where I said, like, it could be worse. It could be worse, like, telling myself that over and over to, like, just get through life. Same with all these quotes and stuff. People just shouldn't say stuff like that, like, especially if they haven't been through it. Like, we need to stop kind of making excuses or, I don't know. But anyway. Um... <laughs> I'm flustered. I haven't done this in a little bit. It's going to be another really long video. We're already like nine and a half minutes in and I haven't said what, um, like this video is going to be about like the very beginning stages of getting help for my mental health. <laughs> wow. I feel so frazzled today that like, I 
can hardly remember what I've said so far. Like I know I've talked about jewelry and then like maybe it's an indication that I shouldn't carry on with this video today, but I have this list in front of me. So once I get started with that, I'll be more organized. Yes, I'm covered in glitter today. I just felt like <laughs> again doing this and having nowhere to go. <laughs> but it's been a little while since I did I mean I did just go to a concert not long ago but I was kind of in the routine of making videos and then uh, I took some time off and but then I wasn't doing my makeup and as I said before like doing it kind of helps me feel better and more getting more productive just like when I, I think my second video where I took you on a tour of the trailer like that was I had a reason to really like clean top to bottom so that was helpful <laughs> and maybe I should take you guys on a tour once a week so <laughs> I can maintain the cleanliness of the trailer I mean it's not so bad if you look around like it's it's just that things start to get dirty, like needing dusting and real cleaning. And I'm bad at that because like growing up, the only time we ever really cleaned anything was when we had company and we almost never did. Like, especially as the years went on, like it became less and less to almost never. And it was like embarrassing to, for me to bring friends over with the condition of the house and the thought of running into my dad and yeah but um anyway I'm gonna pause this I'm gonna get some water and then I'm gonna continue on going straight into when I first got help with my mental health 